there you see the Oklahoma Sooners. OU won the toss just a few moments ago and elected to give Texas the decision. And they wanted to kick it off and give it to the great defense. So the Texas kicking off against the wind in the first quarter as we're about to get this one underway. The 80th meeting between Texas and Oklahoma. Jeff Ward with the kickoff, and it will go down to about the six-yard line. Taken by Collins. He bounces off a couple of tacklers, and he's down right at the 20-yard line by David Fulbright. OU offense now, and this is a big, explosive group, especially Eric Pope, the left guard. Pope's the senior. He may be the best, but they say the best prospect is Hudson. Phillips was everybody's high school All-American. Oklahoma with two wideouts and only two running backs as they break the wishbone on first down. Troy Aikman, the quarterback, hands off on the draw play to Leon Perry. Troy Aikman, number 18, will be at quarterback. Keep an eye on Leon Perry, Lydell Carr, and, De and Derek Shepard is a big one. Second down, about seven to go for OU. Now the full wishbone. Perry, Carr, and Collins hand off to the front man. That's Lydell Carr and... James McKinney, Steve Llewellyn, who just made the tackle, Steel Hammer, and Brawner across the front. Eric Shepard comes to the lower part of your screen. Two wideouts, three wideouts now for OU. Aikman with a handoff up the middle to the 30-yard line. Linebackers, Ty Allard, the only big name in that group. But Sula Van been terrific so far this year either. Back into the two wishbone. Shepard, the only wideout. East Jackson, the tight end, will be in for blocking purposes. Aikman with a handoff. Another behind the line of scrimmage is Leon Perry. In the lineup, Bragg, Stevie, Hagee, and Jeffries. And they like to play a bump and run. This is the situation Oklahoma's offense does not share it. Second and long. Damon Stell and Derek Shepard are the wideouts to the lower part of your screen. That's Collins up on the top. Handoff up the middle to number 45, Lydell Carr again. Three wide outs for Oklahoma. Five defensive backs in for Texas. Third down. And the sack in the backfield. Steve Llewellyn, number 93, and up to 53 yarder this year. And there is the punt by Oklahoma's Winchester. Metcalf at the 22. He gets the zone. Look out. He's over the 32, about the 33 yard line. He's the offensive line. John Stewart was disciplined, kicked off of the team at least for one game by Texas a couple of days ago. Now in motion for Texas. And off to Darren Norris at about the 35 yard line. Brian Bosworth, the first man to it. Well, Hayes now checks in for Texas. Harris, the big tight end, keep an eye on him. Harris has a slightly pulled hamstring, and Norris bothered by a bad side bruise. But when it's Texas OU, you play. Norris and Hunter dot the I. Russell Hayes in motion to Texas. Six-yard line. Brett Stafford is the quarterback, not Todd Dodd. Daryl Reed, Richard Reed, Tony Casillas, Steve Bryan, Kevin Murphy. They could all be big eights this year. Everett Gay flanks up to the top. Third down, about nine meters. Brett Stafford on the rollout. He's being rushed by a whole bunch of Sooners, and he throws the ball out of bounds. It's incomplete. And Derek Shepard, who has a real good return average for Oklahoma, will get it. Uh, he calls for the fair catch. He's backed up to about the 24-yard line. We've thrown back to you to Troy Aikman, along with Terry Carr and Sell. And it's a handoff to Perry. Goes the right side. Aikman had a big now, a uh, big week against Kansas State. Now they break it. Damon Sell goes to the right side of the wing back. Aikman will keep and he's down nowhere. Then the Texas defense. Third down, about six needed. Leon Perry goes in motion for the Sooners. Here comes Aikman. He will pick it this time. Out to about the 30-yard line goes Carr. Turn his punch, he kicks them so high. He has the wind to his back. Texas coming hard. They had the rush on. What a booming kick by Winchester. Drives Metcalf all the way back to the 20. Look at that move by Eric. Look out. 35. And he finally tackled at about the 34-yard line. He was down. There was no fumble. He was down on the ground. Now he dead the ball. Dead ball on the 34. Also in the game will be Darren Norris. Motion by Texas. Norris goes left. He's got running room at the 35. Across the 42, about the 42-yard line before he's knocked out of bounds. But, of course, he's no Casillas. Second down, about two for Texas. 
Metcalf comes in motion. He could get the flip here from Stafford. Stafford elects to keep, however, and he gets up to about the 44. Here's the wishbone for Texas. Third down, about a yard needed for a first. Stafford rolling right, and his tight end fell down, and it's intercepted. Number seven, Riddell Glenn for Oklahoma. And he steps back the 50-yard line. But right now, Damon Sell and Collins goes wide to the right along with Derek Shepard. Here comes Collins in motion. Aikman wants to pass. Look at his running back out of the backfield, and he just overthrows Damon Sell. Oh, he's never had a quarterback throw for 200 yards in a game. He's got some running backs, however. Mm -hmm. Going in motion, Patrick Collins. Fake up the middle. Now the flip back to number two, Leon Perry. And look at all the orange jerseys. Perry did a heck of a job that time as he got three wide receivers. Only Carr is the back behind Aikman. Here, drop back pass. And he throws it out here. He had Derek Shepard wide open at the Texas 28-yard line. He is averaging 53 yards on two punts. Metcalf 11 yards on two returns. This time he really turns the point over, and it hits at the one and goes into the end zone for a touchback. Todd Dodge is now checked into the Texas lineup. Both teams have 11 yards of total offense, so you can see the defensive struggle it has been. And up in the backfield, this is Charles Hunter as he skitters for about five yards. Well, he was looking at the cheerleaders, Norm, what I was talking about. Yeah. He's a steer, Bill. He shouldn't be looking at cheerleaders. Yeah. Hunter across the 25 to the 27. Darrell Reed on the tackle. Texas and OU. Gabriel Johnson wide to the left. Edward Gay to the lower part of your screen. Dodge wants to throw. Across the middle, and he's got Everett Gay. 40-yard line. The key to Todd Dodge may be if he gets these first couple of completions. Darren Norris. To the left side. There's not much running room. Russell Hayes into the lineup. Gabe Johnson going uh, in motion to the top of your screen. He takes the handoff play action. Dodge with time to pass. Looks across the middle and he throws a dying duck. Third down for Texas. Everett Gay, top of your screen. Draw play. Almost to the 50 yard line. It'll be shy of a first half yard line. That is Derek Shepard. And he gets an end over end kick off the side of his foot and it's going to get a Texas roll to about the 10 yard line. It was killed at about the 10 by Perry Steelhammer. Perry Carr and Collins in the wishbone from the 11 yard line. Hand off to Collins and uh, tackle applied by second down OU. Wishbone. Fumble in the air. And going in, standing up, is Thomas Aldridge making the hit, and Chip Cooper takes it in, and Texas, with a sudden change of events, leading it 6 to nothing. Seven point if Ward can split him. Jeff Ward from uh, the 10, there's a flag on the play. We'll look and see if there was an offside. So Texas will have to try it again. 25-yard attempt now for the extra point by Jeff Ward. And it's good. So with 2.35 left to play in the first quarter, Texas takes a 7-0 lead. Kicking off will be Jeff Ward, Eric Mitchell, and Patrick Collins. That's Mitchell at about the 6-yard line. He gets to about the 20, let's say the 22. And this might be the place where the first down bomb to the tight end might be called. Wishbone, handoff, Damon Stell. Across the middle, 203. The clock winds down first quarter. Eric Shepard, the lone wideout. The upper part of your screen. Troy Aikman on the pitch. And he gets a good one back to Stell, and he gets to about the 28-yard line. And Markov holding against the Sooners. And Barry Switzer, second down and 18. That's Stell in motion. Breaks the wishbone. And off to the first man through, Lydell Carr. He's right down at about the 18-yard line. Keith Jackson, number 88, remains in the tight end. He'll keep across the 20, and he gets to about the 24-yard line. Room here. Good kick again by Winchester, and Metcalf signals for the fair catch, and he backs up on his own 27-yard line. One note, Byerly is left-handed, and Texas has a left-handed option pass. That's for future notes. Well, 
Well, he's not passing this time. He's smothered by Darrell Reed. It's been all defense at the Cotton Bowl in the first quarter. And Texas is leading it 7 to nothing on the HSE Sports Network. About 11 needed. High formation. Byerly and Jerome Johnson. Pitch back to Anthony Byerly. He's got some blockers in front of him, and then he outran his blockers. Todd Dodge, who had a record-setting 359 yards passing last week against Wright. High formation again. Again, the same play to Byerly as he gets to the 35, and he rides. Eric Shepard will be returning it as Celtic will have to punt. Look at the block by Oklahoma was on that time, and they missed it. And Shepard will call for the fair catch inside his 20 at about the 19. He's currently got eyes on it. It's a bad break for Oklahoma and Tony Casillas. Norman Bell. Well, that is tough news. Patrick Collins in motion. A fly pass across the middle. Complete to Keith Jackson. Watch him rumble. Down inside Texas territory to the 38-yard line. James Watt made the tackle. up. Big play for the Sooners. They needed it. Back to the wishbone again. Aikman flipping back to Leon Perry. Inside the 35-yard line. Boy, Aikman. Texas 20 to the 18 yard line. Derek Shepard out wide to the left. The wishbone again. Again, it's the car. They go right back to the bread and butter. Terry Steelhammer on number 75 on the right tackle spot. Keep an eye on him. They'll run behind him a lot. Patrick Collins. Back to back to the Terry and closes quickly from Northbrook High School in Houston. Wishbone. Third down. Oklahoma needs two. Car six-yard line. First down, OU. Griff Hager on the tackle. And off. And then the car with good running inside the four to maybe the three. Second down and goal to go for the Sooners. Perry right to the goal line. Jackson and Darren Berryhill tight end. Third down, and Oklahoma needs one for a touchdown. Carr, did he get it? I don't know. Yes, he did. Touchdown, Oklahoma. The extra point for the Sooners. Whoops. It's good. It just got through the left upright, and this game is tied. 7-7 seven seven with 10-18 to play in the first half. There you see the Oklahoma touchdown on the HSE Sports Network. He better get it over Metcalf and Nunn because they can scoot. Norman Nunn. Oh. Number 25 back deep, and that's the strategy by Barry Swifter. Let's... Metcalf drops the eye. Now Dodd takes it to Metcalf. Wants to throw another wobbler. Intended for Jerome Johnson. Russell Hayes and Donovan Pitt. In for Texas. I formation. Second down. Needing 10. Eric Metcalf over left tackle. Metcalf played quarterback for five games in high school. He can throw the ball. Three wide receivers. Everett Gay comes out to the lower part of your screen. Dodge across the middle. And he's got Metcalf at the 30. Watch him fly. And he trips and falls at the 38-yard line. Eric Metcalf, his daddy, Terry, attending the game today. It's the first game he's seen his son play in a burnt orange uniform. Big haul. In the Oklahoma territory goes Eric Metcalf. Brian Chester and Billy Ray Todd, the offensive line for Texas. First down, Metcalf again gets the call. Football. Todd was the only one back there. Well, when the umpire state building is about to land on you, it's no fun. You're right. Three wide receivers for the horn. Second down, they need a bunch. 21 to be exact. Dodd trying to get by his own offensive lineman, Gene Shelton. At the top of your screen, third down and 24. 7.24 left to play in the first half. Dodd across the middle, and he's got Everett Gay at the 50-yard line. He waits, he holds it a couple of seconds, and now he gets it off a good spiral that may be killed inside the 10. It takes an Oklahoma bounce all the way back outside to about the 15-yard line. It was supposed to rain here today, but it cleared off right before the kickoff. Hand off the car. Up the middle, a gain of about one. Damon Stills flanks out to the upper part of your screen. Shepard to the lower part. 
and a big, big hole for Leon Perry as he gets across the 20, stumbles to the 23. Shepard, one of those from Texas by way of Odessa. And off to the middleman again. That's Carr, Petkovic on the tackle. Second down now. First down, excuse me, by the Sooners. Again, first down on the last play. Wishbone. Aikman on the keeper to the 27. Starting to see Aikman be giving some of the other options in his wishbone. Patrick Collins flanked out. Hand off again to Leon Perry. Comes wide. He's got to beat one man. He gets to the 34-yard line. He's run out of bounds. That's the start of fall play. Hand off. <laughs> To the right side to Patrick Collins, and he's got an OU first down. And here comes another one. Rodney Anderson, number 28, has just checked in at fullback in place of Lydell Carr. Aikman wants to throw on first down, and he's got his receiver at the 45-yard line. That is Patrick Collins. Simmons sits on the Texas bench running third or fourth team because of leg problems. Rick Ewells is the center now for OU. He has checked in. Second down and five. That time, Aikman did a great job of almost getting to midfield. He's third and short. The way they're moving it, they should eat this down up. Aaron Berryhill comes in in place of Jackson at tight end. Shepard the only wideout. Aikman with a pitch. Whoops. Fumble. He's got it. I think OU kept possession of the ball in Texas territory. And that's Greg Johnson. First down and 10. Aikman wants to throw. He's got Keith Jackson. And Hagee wrestles the football away from him. He threw a little behind. Damon Bell along with Patrick Collins. Collins will go wide to the upper part of your screen. And off the car. And boy, what a hit that time. But if OU makes this first down, Texas will have conserved time for OU's drive with that timeout. Shepard and Bell, the wide receivers. Aikman will throw on third down. Here comes the blitz by the horn. Mike January, well, Mike Winchester will be punting from his 30-yard line against that win, but he gets a great kickoff. Eric Metcalf will signal for the fair catch and take it. Charles Hunter and Darren Norris split backfield behind Todd Dodge. Wrong again. Dodge to Norris. Shy of the 30 at about the 29. Won't want to miss that. Second down, one needed. Hunter. Searching for the first down, he gets it. And Texas trying to get at least in the field goal range for Jeff Ward. Great drop back. Across the middle, intercepted by Oklahoma. He's got some running room, bouncing outside is Ricky Dixon. Where is he going? And he finally dives down at his own 47-yard line. William Harris making the tackle for Texas at halftime on HSE. First down and 10, OU an illegal procedure call against number 75, Greg Johnson. Oklahoma must go 30 yards right now. Damon Sell along with Lee Morris and Derek Shepard. Wide out. Big blitz. Fumble! And they say Aikman was down. That is the end of the first half of play. What a great, great game we've got as we thought. The Longhorn 7 and the Sooner 7 in the first half. It's been defense for Texas and one offensive score for the Sooners. This is halftime 7-7. Seven, seven. We'll be back in just a moment on the HSE Sports Network. Kicking off will be the freshman Todd Thompson, number 91, who kicked it into the end zone against the wind in the second quarter. Metcalf will be back deep, but this baby is going all the way between the uprights almost. Todd Dodge will open that quarterback. Darren Thomas, Charles Hunter, Hunter with the football, going wide to the right, and right there to meet him is number 40, Darrell Reed. We'll talk more about him in a moment, and I'm sure we'll have a chance to. Dodd gives it off to Hunter. There is momentarily a hole. He goes wide to the left, and he runs into four white jerseys. Just came off the sidelines, a junior from Kansas City who really made the play on that last one. This is third down. Darren uh, Norris will get it for a gain of only three, all not even back to the original line of scrimmage. Inside his five-yard line. Oh, you should have good field position. Derek Shepard will get it on the run. He fumbles, and it's kicked around by OU, and recovering it is number 49, Scott Garl. Why are so many uh, uh, games so close? Is it just the well, because of the intensity, the overall talent is not as outspread. Second down play. A 
again, Lydell Carr. He rushed on first down for about three ten. Going wide to the right is Patrick Collins. Shepard to the lower part of your screen. Troy Aikman. Play action. And he throws it away, intended for Keith Jackson. If they're going to reestablish equilibrium in the game. What a great job Winchester has done. He's averaging 60 yards a punt. Oh, this is his fifth one. It'll be inside the 10. Can the Sooners down it? Oh, and they muff it at the one-yard line. So Texas gets the break and will bring it out to the 20-yard line. High formation. Hunter and Darren Norris again in the backfield. This is Hunter trying to go left. Now he's come back right. He's got some running room if he can get outside. Look at that great sooner pursuit. A gain of only three and he second down. About eight. Again it's Hunter. He ducks inside to about the 25. Ohio State 28-7 over Indiana. Goodbye winning streak for Indiana. Everett Gay, Gabe Johnson flanked out to the left. Again a running play. And again, it's going nowhere. Richard Reed, eight yard average for Celtic on five punts. Mm -hmm. And he gets off a dandy this time. Derek Shepard all the way back to his 31 yard line. He picks it on the run. And it was a pretty good gamble as he got up across the 35. Troy Aikman, a quarterback, wishbone. And off to the right halfback. That's Damon Sell across the 40 to about the 41 yard line. And elsewhere around the country enjoying this Texas OU game on the HSE Sports Network. Bill Warrell along with Norm Hitchcock going in motion. Damon Sell for Oklahoma. Aikman hands off instead to number 25. Third down, six needed. So far it's been a defensive struggle. All the way. Aikman. He's going to keep, and he can only get across the 45. Britt Hager that time, eight and a half yard average. On six punts. Today. Oh, another beauty. He's got the toe up this time. Metcalf for the fair catch, and it bounces into the end zone. And as it's a repeat performance for Texas. Oklahoma kicking it into the end zone. Texas adding it first and ten. A short man this time, Darren Norris, gets the handoff. High formation for the horn. Second down and seven. And off to Hunter, over left guard. Digs a couple of times, only to the 22-yard line. High formation behind Todd Dodge. Third down, Texas needs seven. Dodge throws a ball that was absolutely end over end. Not to be lost. People have said that before about this game. You know, good high punt. Whoops. It hit off an Oklahoma player. Texas has it inside the 40-yard line. I believe it's Chris Dulaban for Texas. Let's wait and see what the call is. The OU player backed into Derek Shepard. Texas will have the football. Texas with the field position at the 46-yard line of OU. 640. That's the play in the third quarter. He's going for all of it. Todd Dodge throws into the middle and it's intercepted. Brian Bosworth. And Texas will be called for holding. I think OU will keep the football. The Sooners have made a break of their own. Patrick Collins goes wide to the right along with Derek Shepard. First and ten for Oklahoma. Collins in motion. Aikman wants to go upstairs. Looking across the middle and he's got... The big tight end, I believe, Keith Jackson inside the 40. Sometimes things never change. They always hammer Virginia. And off to Lydell Carr. Aikman. Leon Perry. And he's stopped in the backfield by Ty Allard, the big play man for the Longhorn. Not really capable of reaching the end zone or inside the 10. Here come the Horns trying to block it again the point way up in the air Metcalf will try to field it at the 15 and he is tackled by a whole swarm of Sooners that he doesn't want to talk about Bosworth is back in the game number 44 and he's right in there maybe Fred Akers is hoping history will repeat itself two years later high formation Simmons dots the eye hand off to the first man through that is Jerome Johnson number 35 now they are in the split backfield that is Everett Gay Along with Gabriel Johnson, first wide to the right. And moving in the backfield was Simmons. The illegal procedure call against Texas. Bill, why is that illegal procedure? Third down now and about 11. God, rolling right. Now he throws and he underthrows a wide open Everett Gay at about... Elchick will be on about his 
five-yard line when he punched it. He got one off the side of his foot. Derek Shepard feels it on the run. All the way back to his 36-yard line. He's trying to pick up a little zone back there that he can slip through. Leon Perry, Lydell Carr, and Patrick Collins. Aikman will throw on first down. No pressure to speak of, and he'll run with it. Texas territory, 45, he's at the 40, count it off, at the 30. Down to the Texas 27-yard line. Troy Aikman was the first first down of this half by either team. 2.20, left to play in the third quarter. That's Leon Perry in motion. And off the car, and uh, Carr has carried 17 times for 43 yards. That's only a two and a half yard average. Second down and 10. Aikman going upstairs. He wants the six. He's going to Shepard. Incomplete. Boy, a real battle. It's going to be a 43-yard six for Lasher. Lee Morris is the wide receiver. Aikman fumble a snap from center and another big play by the Texas defense. Mike January. Lasher on the year, four of six. Seven of seven in the extra point department. Right down at the 34. Tack on 10. It'll be a 44-yarder. And it's no good. Off to the right. And the Texas defense holds off OU one more time. The game remains tied. Texas with only nine. Simmons and Johnson stay in the game. High formation. Todd Dodge remains at quarterback. Simmons hard running over right guard. Dante Jones, Gabe Johnson, and Everett Gay. Wide receivers to the lower part of your screen. On second down, again, it's Simmons. Nowhere to go at the 31-yard line. That's it. We've got 15 minutes of slam bam action coming your way from Donovan Pitts is in the game. Ooh, what a hit by Brian Bosworth on Air Pitt He's averaging 38.8 per punch. Gets it off the side of his foot. Derek Shepard will have some running room with it at the 35, and he almost gets up to shoot to about the 40-yard line. Bone. Aikman will keep, fumbles into the air and out of bounds at about the 36-yard line. It's going to be a big turnover somewhere down the line. 14.07 left to play. Or it could be 7-7 at the finish. Aikman, Shepard down and out. He's got him at the 49-yard line, just shy of midfield. Two tight ends, Jackson and Berryhill. Tower formation for the Sooners. He's got it. He's got more. Aikman as he plows ahead for a gain of about four, maybe five. Carr at fullback. With Perry and Collins in the wishbone. Oh, and it's Carr to about the 44-yard line. Second down and nine. Aikman on the feet. Now he pitches out. Lots of running room for Collins at the 25. Cuts it up. He could score. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Oklahoma and Collins, he was able to turn the corner, and OU may have turned the corner in this contest. 14 to 7 over Texas, 12-25 left to play, but don't go away on HSE. There's Patrick Collins with great speed as he got around the corner on the Texas defense. Norman Nunn lets this ball bounce. He better field it. Now he does inside the three. 15, look out, he's got great speed, and he's almost to the 30-yard line. They still have plenty of time to run it, but they just have not been able to move it on the ground against the Sooners. High backfield. Todd Dodge will go upstairs. Here comes a big rush. I don't know how he got out of the way that time. Second down, Texas needs nine for a first. Split backfield. Here comes the blitz. Bosworth, look out. Dodge tries to get it away, and it's incomplete. At the 35-yard line. Dean Chilton, probably their best offensive lineman in Williams and Hanley. Third down, eight needed. Again, here comes Reed on the pressure. Dodge has no time at all. He unloads it at the 45. Incomplete on your screen. He's had a month. Good kick by Telke. It drives Derek Shepard all the way back to the 10-yard line. There's a flag on the play, however. 
first down. Nope, it's a legal procedure, Texas. That's sprinted the length of the field. Now they've got to do it again. You often top long returns in situations like this. Not near as good a punt. Shepard going left, trying to get the alley. Runs into his own man at the 36-yard line. Troy Aikman with the wishbone. Andy Norm hits the soldier a moment ago. OU be content to gobble up that clock right now. That's Damon Sell around the left side for about five yards. Second down, and only about four and a half for Oklahoma. Big running up the middle by Carr, and he has the Oklahoma first down. At a first down, Oklahoma way ahead on that statistic. Aikman hands it off to Anthony Stafford, and he goes out of bounds at about the 50, and flags fly everywhere. That's the call. Watson Brown going to win his first conference game, it looks like, at right. First down, about three to go. Carr dances his way inside the 45 to about the 42. Tomer Adams on the tackle. Right now, Oklahoma driving and chewing up that clock. 10.08, 10.07 left to play. Texas shows a blitz here. Aikman changing it at the line of scrimmage. Straight ahead handoff to Carr, who's first over left guard to the Texas 35. Second down, two needed for the Sooners. Ooh. And that time, uh, third down. The Sooners need three to keep the football. Texas wants it. Hand off up the middle. This is Rodney Anderson, and they keep the football. Time running out. 8.15 left to play. Needs the yard. He didn't get it. A handoff was for Damon Stell. Mark Petkovic shot through and made the tackle. Looks like Hunter may be in there at tailback again. Pitch back to Hunter coming wide to the left. 35. He's got a man to beat. Good pursuit that time. Look out for Metcalf this time. He's just checked into the game along with Jerome Johnson. High back feet. Here it is. And Bosworth wouldn't let him get the reverse off. Brian Bosworth. He has nine tackles on the game. He has messed up a whole bunch more than that. Dodge, here comes the blitz. Look out. Oh, number 80, Troy Johnson. Had him in his sights all the way, and that Sooner defense is just too much for Texas. Just never did it. Troy Johnson was a tight end at Ailey Hastings. Here goes Celtic with another kick, his 11th of the oh. day. Shepard almost fumbled it at the 30-yard line. 14 to 7 Sooners. 6-11 left to play. off outside the Collins that same play he scored on 45 yarder and he runs out of bounds Lee Morris is the wide receiver for the Sooners second down about three needed 604 left to play and off up the middle to Leon Perry and he's close to a first down it's dominated quarterback sneak and he has the first down he all he had to do was get the point of the football and I get the feeling the clock if we stopped it right now and played till six o'clock tonight wouldn't be a factor yeah, I think the factor in this is offside Texas. Oh, get five yards to the center. Again now, we got offside Texas. First and five for OU. Now we 445. Let's play. Texas defense pinching the middle. Hard game. Big yardage anyway. He's still going. Inside the 40, all the way to the Texas 34-yard line. Lydell Carr. First and 10, Oklahoma. Somebody on the right side of the OU offensive line moved that time. You want as big as those OU people are with it. First down and 15 for Oklahoma. And off to Collins, left side. He's got the lane again. And he's at the 32-yard line. When I tell you, that freshman Perry has made a few dandy blocks over there to spring him loose today, too. Second down and seven. Hand off right up the middle to Rodney Anderson. Oklahoma needs three for a first. Aikman wants to keep, and he's not going to make it. Sonny Brown will hold for Oklahoma. 46-yard attempt by Lasher. No good. Right. 
It's off to the right and short, so Texas will get the ball at the 36-yard line because Oklahoma is going to be laying back. That cap is used as a flanker in the slot. Dodd going long. There's no one there. He threw it over on the Texas sideline. Texas on second down. Dodge is going to roll right. Try to get away from that fierce Oklahoma rush, but he can't do it. Kevin Murphy, number 39 for OU. He's on the nose now of Chilton. Dodge across the middle for Eric Gay. Great catch at the 45-yard line. Everett Gay, and I think, however, bring it back. It could be holding on the Longhorns. It is. We've got a mere third and 28. Your call, sir? Third and two time zones with 125. A quick kick, right. Dodge running for his life. And he has to eat the football at the five-yard line. Kevin Murphy has been everywhere today for the Sooner. I don't understand that. He shouldn't even be there in case the ball bounces. Look at Celtic. Celtic really gets away a statistics maker right here, doesn't he? That's 80. That's over 80 now. 87-yard punt by John Celtic. Oh, my. That 81-yard punt, by the way, off the foot of Celtic was one yard short of the Texas record. They managed four first downs and about four and a half yards per possession. I mean, we hope that Tony Casillas is all right. Aikman goes down and count it down with the crowd. job on Texas this afternoon defensively. The Sooners winning a hard-fought struggle 14-7 over the Longhorns.